The city of Long Beach has been under an imminent water supply shortage declaration since February 2014. And while residents are being asked to conserve, the Department of Parks, Recreation and Marine is also tightening water use at all city parks with a comprehensive three-pronged approach. Three things that we're doing is one, we're going to smart controllers. And these are electronically controlled via web. You know, we can actually control them through an, in an office somewhere. Many of our new parks have those. There won't be any leakage, breakage of the system. If that happens, the system shuts itself off automatically. Some of the older parks need that system, so we're converting those. Uh, this, the councils gave us a million dollars to start that process, and we've, making, we've been making an investment in that. Um, so more and more, we'll be converting to the CalSense systems. Secondly, the city is working toward converting several soccer fields to artificial turf, which is predicted to save 800,000 gallons of water per field every year. Three is drought tolerant plants, so we're, we're going to be putting as much of that in the parks and medians as possible. Our city's five golf courses are also in on the conservation effort. It's important for them to make money, it's important for them to keep the grass green. Um, so they are on reclaimed water and uh, they are on kind of the same watering schedule that everybody else is. They're looking at areas where they that don't normally get used to convert those also into drought, drought tolerant plant material and mulch. While many newer parks are equipped with electronic water monitoring systems, other older parks, like Hartwell Park, still require manual watering, which is why you will see city staff turning the sprinklers on during the day. Those type of things are beyond the norm. Um, so if you see that, you know, don't think that we're wasting water. It's just part of our, our maintenance process. If it gets really, really bad, there may be some brown spots that people may see if we have to continue to roll back the water but we're trying to keep it as green as possible for people to enjoy. For more information on water conservation in Long Beach, visit lbwater.org.